Hi everyone, so I'm Anne, the Carpentries and Code Refinery Instructor Trainer. I teach Carpentries workshop on a regular basis and I try to apply similar teaching techniques to Code Refinery. However, I know our target audience is very much different and I need to adapt my teaching style. Code Refinery is all about best software practices. So we don't teach programming, we focus on the tools and the methods for efficiently develop and maintain research software. So our typical learner is a research software engineer leading and developing research software projects or researchers and students contributing to this project. So how do I prepare myself for teaching a code refinery workshop? So usually about one week before a workshop, I go through the teaching material, especially the setup and the exercises, and I read the instructor notes. So we regularly update them with learners' questions and answers so there is always something new to learn. So I don't really update the training material itself um, before the workshop, I rather focus on the delivery. Uh, when teaching, I don't show the training material too much in advance, as I think it can prevent learners to ask questions. But I reckon this is still very useful in a code refinery setting because we have a wide range of skills uh, with uh, different backgrounds and uh, ideally, I like to give several exercises so anyone can work at his own pace. So I think it is important to reckon that everyone will get something different from the workshop. In terms of lessons, I really like the interactive code refinery lessons, such as social coding and modular code development. So we use a shared document such as HackMD and Google Doc, where the learners actively contribute. So these lessons are really driven by the learners. So every code refinery workshop is unique. So I really like breaks as they give us the opportunity to discuss with the learners about their own research software projects. And it's usually a good time to recruit new helpers for future code refinery workshops. Um, I can also get some feedback on my teaching because at the end, um, I'm always trying to find what works best and in which situations. And this is really what I like in code refinery workshops. Voila, that's it for today. I really strongly recommend you to watch another video on uh, the code refinery training philosophy. We are all different with uh, very different teaching styles and this is really the strength of code refinery. I thank you for watching this video today and I hope to see you soon in a code refinery online or in-person event.